Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Figure here. Today we are going to play more of Honkai Star Rail's newest story in 2.5. I assume we're gonna pick up right where we left off last time. I'm not really entirely sure, but last was the prison break and all that stuff that happened, and currently Jack Cho is hopefully going to be safe and, and nothing bad will happen to him. We're gonna find out though, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this video, turn into 11k subs by the end of the year. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. After the Shackman prison break on the Star Skiff, whatever. <sighs> Seriously? Oh, there's when Michelle. When is this war dance going to start? The Sky Splitter has been hovering there for ages. When can we board and see what's inside? Soon, probably. Is this how long life species live? Everything proceeds so slowly. The effectiveness of anticipation in mm -hmm. my emotional center is at an all-time high. Oh, I need to drink some coolant. Great, dude. Relax. The Realm Keeping Commission will send boarding notices to all ticket holders. The Gazette said the Sky Splitter will fire a salute before the ceremony Good starts. Good to know. Thanks. I saw the schedule for oh, the first day of the tournament. Can you believe the Ringmaster accepted four challenges? And he's just a kid. <laughs> so, who are you betting on, Bardo? I'm betting on neither. I lost all my credits betting on RoboBall games in Tykeon. Oh. <laughs> this time, I've decided not to rely on probability games to accomplish my target. <laughs> okay, of dude. <laughs> Whatever. Rich. War dance. <sighs> Hello. It's me. There you are. Hi. I heard you and Mr. Don Hung went to meet the judges. And then a riot broke out in the Shackling prison. Yep, that... I was so worried about you. That was a thing that happened. <sighs> Thank goodness you both made it out safe. Yeah, but Jiao Cho did it. <laughs> I I'm good. Didn't yeah, well. I heard them too. But I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint them. I've already reported to General Jing Yuan that I'll give up my role as the ringmaster. Huh? That you're not... Huh? The security of the La Fu is more important to me than anything else. Okay, dude. I need to fulfill my duties as a Cloud Knight Lieutenant before taking on the honor of being a Ringmaster. Sure, what are we acting? Those tourists just want to see some good sword fights. <laughs> Anyone can participate in this kind of tournament. It doesn't have to be me. The Too real challenge be lies beyond the ring on the Sky Splitter. If we don't capture the fugitive soon, Hule will re Yeah, Jiao Cho's in danger, so we need to fix that. Obviously, there's someone behind the scenes orchestrating this prison break. Intending to spread chaos. If we fail to thwart their evil plan, what honor will be left for us to uphold? Mm. Well said. Hello? Beisha? You may be tiny in stature, yeah. but your ambition Hello. matches that of the Yao Ching's warriors. How you doing? Hey, th this has nothing to do with my <laughs> height. What brings you here? General. Yes. I suggested to Yan Ching that we find a place to have a decent meal. A hunter must be well fed before She is hunt. really pretty, but I do have to skip her, unfortunately. You still have a good appetite, even in the face of disaster. You truly are the Merlin's Claw. Please finish the food quickly so we can get to work, General Feishao. Well, that's not up to me. Dig in. I called you here so you could enjoy the food. Food yummy. Me? Uh, this isn't the time for a leisurely meal. <laughs> no, nope, is exactly this the time. <laughs> is too much for me. <laughs> oh, you'd give me time to enjoy a meal, but not yourself. Ever since you encountered those Boris and spies, you've been so busy that you've hardly eaten so anything. So eat food. You can't defeat Hule on Indeed. empty. Indeed. So stomach. eat, Yang Jing. Take your time. Enjoy the meal and calm yourself. She's got a point. Uh, Hule's whereabouts are still unknown, and they've even taken Mr. Zhao Cho hostage. The longer we wait, nah, we the more live complicated the situation becomes. Zhao Cho always said I'm the most impatient person <laughs> among the Cloud Knights, and I can't argue with that. So, there's no reason for you to be more anxious <laughs> than me. I've fought against Boris and Abominations for years. And I know their ferocity and cunning well. The Borson were clearly well prepared for this prison break, and now they are staying in the shadows. They have no reason Not yet, to anyway. rush out into the open. 
When facing cunning and ferocious prey, the hunter must be more patient, biding their time to seize the golden chance for a decisive blow. Once Hule loses his patience and reveals himself, that's when we'll strike. <sighs> but when I don't know. time come? Eventually. Like I said, it's only one meal away. Oh, so soon, right? <laughs> hey, Jiao Cho, how are you doing? Where is he? Oh, okay. With Jing Yuan? General Hua oh. Yan, the Skyfaring Commission has finished its preparations. Do you have any other instructions? Representing the consensus between the Merlin's Claw and the Divine Foresight, I'll step in as the temporary commanding oh, officer of the Seat okay. of Divine Foresight and oversee the Six Commission's affairs on the lawful. Oh, okay then. What is the situation at the Shackling Prison? Hule made a quick escape yeah. and even sealed the gates of the prison. As of now, the Cloud Knights have re-established contact with the uh, Skyfaring Hive. Where did he go? That is the big the question. The good news is the two nameless who were trapped in the Shackling Prison are safe Which and Which is great. <laughs> <sighs> um, I know I shouldn't use the word great given the current <laughs> situation, but I'm relieved that she and Don Hung are safe. <sighs> We've lost contact with one of the messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. The Jiao Cho is going to be fine. Nothing hostage. bad is going to happen to him. His boyfriend, no Boza, is going to go save him. Fei Shao is leading the wolf hunt operation, and you know how capable she is. I have no doubt about General Fei Shao's capabilities, General Huai Yan. I'm more concerned about the wardens. According to the plan, the ceremony will begin in six hours. The Sky Splitter will be activated. Yeah, that's the best time. That's probably the who is going to attack. Contest. But now, with Hule's whereabouts unknown, he's gonna donate the skies, I feel like, and then make his way. March is right, Grandpa. I heard the escape prisoner from the Shackling Prison is beyond formidable. In case anything goes wrong. So, Yun Li, what do you think we should do? Well, hmm. I believe we should declare martial law and allocate manpower to search for the escape prisoners and, and no nah, we're not gonna do that it's better to announce an indefinite delay for now nah. <sighs> your plan sounds solid but unfortunately solid plans rarely get a chance to be implemented i believe there are at least two parties who won't accept your approach which two the first are the many travelers who have come all the way here for the war dance. If we declare martial law now, it's like declaring that the law foo isn't safe. How do you think the outsiders would react? They'd be terrified and chaos might ensue. Yeah, yeah. The second party is the staff of the Xianzhou Law Fu's six It's just a bad idea all around. They've invested a lot of resources and manpower into organizing the war dance. Suddenly suspending it indefinitely would create numerous challenges for them. But of course, not everyone disagrees with your idea. I think it's a stupid <laughs> idea, so let's not do it. The mastermind behind this incident would fully support your opinion, presumably. Hule's escape and your discovery of Boris and spies at Stargazer Navalia. Hmm. A child could guess that these events were orchestrated. The fugitive is just one piece in the game. One piece? The one controlling the pieces wants to spread chaos and suspicion among the people on the law fool. If we declare martial law and postpone the war dance, we'll fall into their trap and instead So we just gotta pretend that everything is fine. Hule actually right? does anything. So what we proceed we as normal until something bad we'll happens. We'll search for the prisoners while maintaining order on the law who. Yep. Acting as if nothing has happened. Yep, see? <laughs> as if nothing has happened? Yen Qing said he'd assist the generals. And now he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> With the host ringmaster gone, how are we supposed to... We have a new one! Nothing you, has happened. right? <laughs> Yun Li? That's why I called the two of you here. Uh, are you suggesting that take place? General Huayan, are you asking me to 
to take Yen Ching's place as the ringmaster? You caught on quickly, Miss March. That's exactly what. Oh I mean. my goodness! What a shock. Miss March is a guest invited by General Jing Yuan, Grandpa. How can an outsider represent the Lawfu in the ring? Let her do it. We'll make this Yenjo Lawfu a laughing stock. Dear child, the nameless of the Astral Express are renowned throughout the cosmos. It's an honor to have them participate in yeah, the Yeah, like <laughs> Yun Li, do you Plus, not keep Miss up with March all this shit? Is a disciple girl? of the little cloud knight lieutenant. How can she be regarded as an outsider? We can't afford to have any problems during the war dance. I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring. You but got some smart the security. There is the no giant leader. weight on your shoulders right now. <laughs> Yu Kong. Please explain to them the rest of the arrangements. All right, then. Oh, Ling Sha's POV? Okay. What's she doing? Three dual hours before the war dance convenes in the Shackling Prison. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am sorry for our improper management, and I truly appreciate your assistance, General. What's happening? There is no need to apologize. We Cloud Knights fight on the battlefield while you judges punish the criminals. We are two sides of the same Sienjo Law Fu, and it is my honor to serve the Ten Lords Commission. I've grasped the situation of the prison break. Now tell me more about the current state of the Shackling Prison. Borison infiltrated the prison in disguise and released the prisoners, spreading chaos. Among the judges on Double duty in the four divisions, Judge Shui from the detention division was killed, and this temple. Yeah, but she's technically available. still alive, so. Eh. So, I'm taking over her duties and commanding Arumaton spectral envoys and spiritfarers to quickly restore order in the affected areas. I and the two behind me will go deeper into the prison oh, to investigate. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, General, the situation inside is still chaotic and perilous. Your presence would be. It's common for Cloud Knight generals to face danger directly. Hule has escaped, and the Yao Qing envoy is being held hostage by the Borison. Mm. His fate is unknown. This is a grave matter. He'll judge us Not only did the Merlin's Claw offer no reproach, she decided to go after Hule herself to prevent further calamity. I believe the Law Fu owes her something in return for her fervent determination. How did the infiltrators learn about the location where Hule was held? And how did they time their plan just before the Yao Qing messengers were ready to escort I don't know. Them? To be honest, I couldn't tell you. Finding the answer to these questions shouldn't be too difficult. What truly matters is if we can gather the clues that lead us to the mm. mastermind behind all of this. I have my suspects, I but... But I'm afraid it won't be an easy task. I have one suspect For a long time. This hidden force has been pursuing their own goals and undermining the security of the Law Fu. Backing down now will only encourage them to further endanger the peace here. The Ten Maybe Lords Commission will support know, we'll your say. decision with everything we have, General. Dan Hong and Ling Sha, I'll need both of you to accompany me on this challenging journey. Well, it's part of my responsibilities as the Cauldron Master. So, where would you like to start, General? Let's start with those Borisin disguised as Foxians. My people have already prepared the evidence. According to Lieutenant Yenching's report, he stumbled upon a few suspicious Foxians at Stargazer Navalia. After following them, he discovered that they were actually Borisin in disguise. This is one of the bodies. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Looking at him now, it's hard to imagine how he transformed into a Foxian. My alchemist detected some... complex ingredients in his remains, which might explain how these Borison were able to disguise themselves as Foxians. Simply put, Foxians and Borison share a common ancestry. Mm. Although they look completely different now, there isn't much to make difference between them. Huh. This medicine allows Borison to temporarily change their shape into that of Fox. That's weird. So, in other words, if they stop taking the medicine, 
Their true form will soon be revealed? Sure. We'll put it at that. Indeed. This means that these Borison have a steady supply of the medicine within the Lafu. <sighs> the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Looks like Great. the Alchemy Commission is involved <laughs> Great. once Them again. Guys again. Hmm. When I was sorting through the prescriptions they used, I came across one called Semblance Reversion Essence. It's designed to help those disciples suppress signs of their Marastruck forms and maintain their normal appearance. When I compared it to the medicine found in the Borson's body... It's the same. They're one and the same. Yep. Aren't they? The medicinal properties and ingredients may differ, but the principle remains the same. Since ancient times, the Borison have always sought to have more powerful bodies, regarding the Foxians as weaklings. Yet, in order to save their warhead, they were willing to disguise themselves as Foxians. <laughs> their determination is quite remarkable. Okay, Jing Yuan. <laughs> if these infiltrators rely on the medicine to maintain their disguise, then following this lead in our investigation seems prudent. Please follow me. Okay. Here we are. According to the judge, this area is not yet under control. So we should proceed cautiously. Okay. I've captured the nature of the medicine in my sensor. By following the medicinal fumes, we should be able to retrace the steps of the disguised Borison. Persian guard. Yep. Examine the remains. Incredible strength. The attacker shattered this warden's bone Whew. a single Whew. blow. Whew. Such brute strength is not something an ordinary Borison possesses. This is likely the work of Hule. If I may be so bold to ask, is this Borison truly that formidable? Yeah, and he's fucking huge. <laughs> I have lived a bit longer and engaged in a few more battles than you, Miss Lingshaw. To the Alliance, Borison have always been the most formidable adversaries. And Hule is a monster feared even among his own kind. With his strength, Hule united numerous Borison packs, forming a grand army of abominations of abundance. They constantly pushed the Alliance's armies into perilous positions. Oh, sorry, um... Over seven centuries ago, I followed my mentor on a campaign against the abominations. And I personally witnessed the devastation on the battlefield after Hule appeared. Mm. Yikes. Even with medicinal pellets that suppress the fear caused by his lupitoxin, countless cloud knights succumbed to panic in the face of his murderous aura. Yikes. They couldn't even raise a hand in resistance. If the former sword champion so Jingliu. hadn't immobilized Hule with her frost blade, Damn. the outcome of that fateful battle Jing Liu, they'll have to come back and do it again. <laughs> By the end of the battle, only a few of us remain. The crimson moon cast the sheen of blood on all. Everything I saw was painted dark red. Ooh. If that's the case, why wasn't the beast executed instead of being imprisoned? <sighs> on the Sienjo Jumi. The judges cast those unforgivable and nearly immortal abominations of abundance into the eternal flames of the stars, reducing them to ashes. Their so-called immortality is just a facade. I mean, nothing can truly defy death, can Well, it? I mean... I just don't understand <laughs> why the law kept this tumor for so long, leading to the terrible situation we're facing now. But I guess I understand. The people of the Lafu are known for their kindness. Even when faced with the malignant tumor within the Alchemy Commission, they couldn't bring themselves to cut it out. Instead, they exiled the healer, who tried to solve the problem, to the Sienjo Juming. I understand if you hold grudges against me, Miss Lingshaw. I take the blame for the resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. As for why Hule was only in prison, I can shed some light on that too. Oh, would you tell? I'm just a healer. I'm not familiar with <laughs> He's like, yeah, Chano, I'm just a healer. I'd appreciate it if you could enlighten me, General. 
All right. Let me tell you more about it as we go. Did this Cloud Knight also take the medicine? Okay. No. This is a Borison oh. <laughs> in disguise. A guard killed him before he could return to his original form. All these Borison are dressed in official attire. Besides the Cloud Knight, there were also two Borison disguised as members of the Skyfaring Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Hmm. Whoever is providing them with official identities must hold the position of power. Sus. Let's search elsewhere. Sussy! Someone bit open his arteries and drained almost all of his blood while he was still ah, alive. Yikes. Such a cruel and ruthless act. That's all old, yikes. Despite being a long lived species, Borison are actually more like predatory beasts <laughs> that must feed on raw blood and flesh. I've heard that Hule was deprived of food and water in the Shackling prison. It's hard to imagine how he managed to suppress his hunger for over seven centuries. Oof. Will the hostage from the Yaoqing be able to avoid being his- Surely! Meat? Surely Jiao is gonna Such be just is the terrible nature of the abominations of abundance. We subjected him to the Forest of Swords to drain his life force. But in the end, his punishment turned into a test of our patience. Just like you said, Miss Lingshaw. Casting a creature that can't be killed into a star would be a way to permanently get rid of it. But unfortunately... The Foxians didn't agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The atrocities committed by Hule went beyond mere massacres. Throughout numerous wars, we made every effort to eradicate the Borison. But Hule, with his mysterious sorcery, turned countless Foxians into his pawns. And so the Borison kept returning. The Foxians curse his name day and night, and they even use it to scare children into staying quiet. How could they grant a swift death to such a great sinner? I wonder if you know why. Hule wasn't taken into custody by the Foxian majority Sienjo Yaoqing, but instead imprisoned in the Sienjo Yeah, Yaofu why is that Chow. exactly? As you mentioned, your mentor was an exceptional yeah. warrior that, and was the one who defeated why? Hule, an extraordinary achievement. Therefore, the marshal placed this feral beast under the jurisdiction I guess of the that Sienjo Yaofu as an honor, I assume. It seems you have a major misunderstanding oh. about this arrangement, Miss Lingshaw. Allow me to explain it to you. Ah. Yen Ching told me that an IPC ship was attacked by Borison. Is this what they were transporting on the ship? Yeah. Biometric weapon. Yes. The Artisanship Commission and Alchemy Commission conducted a joint examination and found that Parts of this machine are made from specially refined Borison bio tissue. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild has been researching the biological properties of long life species, hoping to make medical or combat related discoveries. However, they haven't dared to cross any lines due to their so called relationship with the Alliance. Mm. Perhaps to those scholars, Borison are no different from lab animals. Great. <laughs> Maybe the Borison attacked that ship to retaliate against the Intelligentsia Guild for... experimenting on them? No. If it were only about revenge, they could just wreck the ship and destroy all the cargo, instead of allowing it to end up in the Shackling Prison. It was a deliberate display to showcase the dangerous nature of the cargo in broad daylight. This way, the cargo would end up in the Shackling Prison, serving as a tool for the prison break. Yeah, that... Checks out. This skill in exploiting the blind spots of others' mindsets is so typical of them. Hmm. I'm afraid the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild unknowingly became their Oopsies. accomplices. Oh. Uh -huh. Watch out! 
This thing is still alive. Oh, do we have to fight it? <laughs> yep. Even after suffering such severe attacks, their imitation of long life species has crossed the line. Holy shit! <laughs> God, there. Cool, great. You haven't answered my question about why Hu Lei was imprisoned in the La Fu instead of the Yao Qing general. You've been reserved in your response. Could it be that such an arrangement wasn't an honor? The reason why the Marshal didn't leave Hu Lei on the Yao Qing lies in the very mech in front of us. Okay. Are you suggesting that there are people trying to understand Hu Lei's secrets and use them for their own purposes? Okay, like that checks mech? out. Sort of. <sighs> well, I understand. I've heard that the Foxians on the Yao Qing share a bloodline with the Borsin. And just like the Borsin, some of the Foxians there experience an uncontrollable insanity called Moon Rage. Uh oh <laughs> The Marshal believed that this would be inhumane and no different from what the Borsin did, so... Exactly. While Borisin see Moon Rage as a blessing that unlocks their true potential, mm. Foxians see it as an inevitable curse within their bloodline. Mm. Countless healers of the Yao Qing have attempted to unravel this mystery, but to no avail. I want to see Why Jack can Cho Borison control Rachel. the power of Moon Rage? <laughs> can we Foxians break free from this curse? These questions were asked frequently. Each questioner had good intentions. But the road to catastrophe is paved with good intentions. Mm. To the Foxians of the Yao Qing, Hu Lei was not only the warhead of the Borisin, but also a monster that could be the subject of much research. Hu Lei thus became a poison that corrupted people's minds without their knowing. That's why the Marshal decided to imprison Hu Lei and the La Fu. It wasn't an honor, but mm. rather a warning. Because such selfish pursuits in the name of good intentions once led to a tragedy on the Law Fu that served as a warning to future generations. Uh huh. The sedition of Imbibitor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By imprisoning Hu Lei and the Xianzhou Law Fu, the Marshal both suppressed the dangerous intentions of the Yao Qing Foxians. And warn the Xianzhou La Fu to refrain from repeating its mistake. That was a necessary trade off. The Xianzhou Alliance is not solely about the Xianzhou natives. Only when all three races, Foxian, Vidyagora, and Xianzhou natives, form we a alliance, get friends. will there be a promising <laughs> future for all? Thank you for enlightening me. Was it for the same reason that you traded off my mentor to the Xianzhou Zhu Ming, mm -hmm. only to stand idle and allow the resurgence of the disciples <laughs> of Sanctus Medicus? You said that I couldn't bear to cut out the malignant tumor within the Alchemy Commission, but instead exiled the healer who tried to solve the problem to the Xianzhou Zhu Ming. But did your mentor tell you her good intentions led her to perform certain healing arts on Dun Hung? Who had just finished his hatching rebirth. Uh huh? So that he would regain the memories of his past life. What, what did you, did you just, just say? Yeah, huh? She believed that restoring the High Elder's knowledge of his past life would allow the Vidyadara to resume their duty as the guardians of the Ambrosial Arbor, quelling the strife within their clan and bringing everything back. Well, the then. <laughs> but just as I mentioned earlier, the road to catastrophe is always paved with good intentions. Since then, the six charioteers decided that the Alchemy Commission would no longer have a cauldron master. Hmm. Until your arrival now. Uh, if that's the case, I Damn. thank you for protecting Damn. my mentor by exiling her, Damn. <laughs> General. Quite the contrary. I should be the one thanking you. Thanking me? All I ever want is to have a clear conscience. 
However, can long life species truly achieve that goal in their long drawn lives? Mm. For example, you were implicated along with your mentor and forced to leave your homeland without knowing the truth. And now, with the complicated situation in the Alchemy Commission, the Alliance has spared me a lot of trouble by sending you to handle this challenging task. Shouldn't I be thanking you instead? Your eloquence is indeed impressive, the Divine Foresight. He won't even leave me any excuses to hold a grudge against <laughs> you. But, let me make it clear. The Alliance sent me here to handle the business impartially, not to choose sides. It doesn't matter which side you choose, Miss Lingshaw. At the end of the day, both you and I stand on the side of the Alliance, don't we? Let's keep going. Hmm. That's interesting to know that that was a thing that happened to Don Hong. Alright, the scene of the crime. Mess of the bodies, yep. Same with the water stroke remains. These Mara-struck soldiers don't appear to be escaped prisoners. How can you tell? These soldiers are fully armed. Obviously, they didn't hastily join the battle. The messenger named Morza did say that there were two groups of attackers. And the other attackers, aside from the Borison, could hide their tracks. I believe he was referring to these people. Hide their tracks? Exactly. I've engaged with these attackers before. And they used cloud him magic to hide their presence. Without careful observation, no one can detect them. You once warned me to be cautious of the Vidyadara Elder's influence within the Alchemy Commission. Could it be you? What's on your mind, Miss Lingshaw? Well, it seems that someone provided the attackers with a map of the Shackling Prison. So it is and someone from the Vidyadara's Vidyadara Elder. Considering Vidyadara's involvement in the prison's construction, it raises suspicion about their role in this. Additionally, the fact that the Borison need medicine to disguise themselves would suggest that there are still moles within the Alchemy Commission assisting them covertly. Moreover, forging official identities for the undercover Borison would require someone with significant authority. And the presence of assassins capable of using cloud him magic deepens my suspicion <laughs> about the preceptors. But why would the Vidyadar collude with the Borison and Aiden who lays a No clue! They aim to spread chaos. They believe or that chaos only in that chaos works too, can I they guess. regain their former power and influence. Since this edition of Imbiber de Lune, the once proud dragon race has been powerless, watching their influence wane. Being a native of the Lo Fu, Miss Ling Sha, I believe you understand the implications. However, I don't think the Preceptors are the true mastermind. And then who the fuck is? If I'm not mistaken, the one behind all this treachery is the Lord Ravager who oh. exploited the weaknesses within the law of oh. and instigated the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, ultimately leading to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Fentil. Ah, shit. We're bringing her back? Please remember, Maybe. General, that everything I've mentioned is mere speculation. We need concrete evidence for a public trial. If you want to interrogate someone within the Vidyadara's ranks, you'll need irrefutable proof. So, what's your plan, Miss Lingsha? I'll send an invitation to the Preceptors. An invitation? The Preceptors have been inviting me for a personal meeting since my arrival on the Lofu. Now, I'll send them the remains of these Mara-struck soldiers and the route map I found in the prisoner's possession. Then, I'll ask them to meet me at Scale Gorge Waterscape. Oh boy. <laughs> I'd like to hear their explanations. Oh, no. Good idea. If I were to take action, it might alert the true mastermind. I trust you to handle this matter, Miss Lingshaw. The internal affairs of the Vidyadara should remain under their jurisdiction. So take Don Hong with you. And don't worry if things don't go smoothly. Once the wolf hunt operation is over, the hidden truths will come to light. 
speaking of the wolf hunt operation, I'm truly worried about the Yaoqing messenger who was taken hostage. He's gonna be fine. Hule was starving in the shackling prison for centuries. Zhao Zhou's gonna be the messenger just can survive fine. Nothing bad catches. will happen to him. May Rainbow's blessing keep him safe. He will be just fine. Right? Oh, speaking of! <laughs> Let's go. He's gonna be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. As I said, I'm a healer. But my art of healing requires the culinary arts to be truly effective. The magic of my cauldron is its ability to make all <laughs> kinds of medicines into dishes that patients can eat. When simmered and cooked together, any kind of medicinal herb or ingredient becomes a delightful delicacy. Delicacy. But isn't that just one flavor overpowering the others? Hi, Bryce Pembroke. Again. Well, <laughs> Pretty sure you have is. a point. Let me ask you this. If there's a fussy child who refuses to eat green peppers, what's the best Show way to make throat. him eat them? Stuff the kid's mouth with the green peppers <laughs> and cook him alive in a no, pot. No, no, not that, no. <laughs> you have quite the sense of humor. I've heard that you, Borison, have lost many of your taste buds during the self-modification process. So you can't experience complex flavors. Just like you. Only the saltiness of blood for a different and reason. flesh truly awakens your appetite. It's a shame I don't have any green peppers right now. Otherwise, I'd happily stuff them into your mouth and cook you alive in a pot. <laughs> Nah. I'm just kidding. The answer is quite simple. Chop up the peppers and mix them with minced meat to make meatballs. Meatballs? This Meatball. way, the flavor of the meat overpowers the taste of the peppers. And even a fussy child can enjoy them. Can I just boil your tongue in this hot pot? I know you're trying to buy time until someone comes to your rescue. You said that Jin Liu recently returned oh, to La Fu, right? Well, she did come back. But, unfortunately, I also found out that she committed serious crimes. But she could easily make And was escorted here. to another Xianzhou ship. Do you really think you can delay our departure? By provoking Lord Hule's desire for revenge with your Maybe. clever little tongue. You see Borison as savages who know nothing about the Sienjo. But in fact, we know all about your tracking tricks. Like the jade abacus you're carrying <laughs> and the side cranes <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> The more hope you hold in your heart, the greater your pain will be when death comes. He's not gonna die though, he's gonna be fine. I wonder if you can maintain your composure when I tear your throat. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Hmm. His composure is only Hello? a temporary effect of the medicine. This is Hule, isn't it? And it will wear off soon, right? Lord Hule. Yep. Oh, you wow, he got a unique Foxians. model. <laughs> For thousands of years, we were the ones who allowed you to live and who That's granted you talking. civilization. But in the end, you chose to betray us for the freedom promised by the Xianzhou people. <laughs> His eyes are open. But it's all right. As long as you catch the scent of your masters, you obediently return to us, no matter how far you run away. No, shut up. Hule, have you ever wondered you why it took them seven centuries to come to your rescue? <sighs> the Borisans' era has long passed. <laughs> Did they ever tell you these harsh facts before giving you hope? For returning home, <laughs> Lord Hule. Now they're being crushed by the Merlin's claw of the Yao Qing, by a Foxian. They're hiding in remote corners of the cosmos, 
trembling with fear like a wounded beast on its last legs, reaching out desperately for any fake hope of salvation, hmm. which in this case is you. The Merlin's Claw of the Yao Qin. A Foxian? <laughs> Very interesting. Tell me, Mock Talk. Is he speaking to Oh, truth? he is. He isn't lying. That lonely beast was a war slave who ran away from our pack. Really now? Cannon fodder, a thief. She stole our oh. power and used her knowledge about us to fight us using every dirty trick in the book. And she bested you, Mock Talk. Fairness is but a pathetic excuse for the dead and defeated. Hmm. Since our great pack has fallen apart, who told you that I was alive? And who sent you yeah, here? Yeah, explain that. In our darkest hours, it was a prophet of the Master of Immortality, named Mongus, who showed Mongus? us the way. Her guidance Ooh. brought us hope. Her? Hmm. This prophet, Mongus, what does she want? The prophet made this proclamation. The Borison have been divided for too long. And only your return can unite all the packs, mm. restoring us to our former glory. That's when we learned that you were still alive. It must have been a manifestation mm. of the Master of Immortality. Okay. And the Prophet told us that the Foxy in general of the Yao Qing would take you to her ship during the La Fu's war dance. And that it would be our best chance to infiltrate and free you from your prison. And just as she said, we did it. I'm so into more disorder. That so-called prophet lied to all of you. She just sent you here to die. But her prophecy has come true. Our warhead is right yeah, here for now. with <laughs> us. Once the news about the prison break spreads, the Cloud Knights will close all the ports. Yep. You may Major think spot. you've escaped the prison, but you're just trapped in another cage known as the Law Fu. Uh, let me kill this unruly, lonely beast! No, no I'm not gonna do that. I assure you that our star skips will soon arrive. Right now, everyone in the Law Fu is distracted by the stupid war dance. So this will be the perfect chance to escape. Once you've returned to your territory, your revenge against the Sienjo ships will be within reach. Mm. Perfect chance to return to my weak and shattered pack at the mercy of a ridiculous false prophet <laughs> and become a mere puppet in her clutches. <laughs> her plan is full of flaws. The only paths she has prepared for you are escape and death. Listen up. A wolf never allows itself to become prey. From now on, you'll follow my orders. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Since you are so confident that the Cloud Knights will close the ports, Jiao Cho, I'm now giving you a chance to go and see it for yourself. Oh. Go He's letting him leave? Come back. That's shocking. And tell me what you saw. Wait. What did yeah, you say? He's just letting say? him leave. But my lord. Would an alpha wolf ever listen to a cub ah, ah. knock talk? <laughs> no. I've never heard anything like that. I. Uh, I wasn't trying to defy your will. I will always unquestioningly follow your orders. <laughs> Why don't you send your people? I'm offering you a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't you? Yeah, like what the away, fuck? Why are Jiao you letting Chou? him do that? <laughs> you will come back. Because Foxians like you always obediently return to their masters, the no fuck? matter how far they run away. What the hell? Oh. 
can't believe, I can't believe he yep. actually let me go. What game is he playing? That's weird. I don't like that. Perhaps I can try to warn the Cloud Knights. No. Perhaps I can just escape. Look around. Foxy with the clothes to start getting warned. You will come to regret. Huh? Okay. Just as I suspected. He's testing me. Ah. I see. Continue towards the, the Cloud Knights must have been aware of the situation inside the Shackling prison for some time. Will General Fei Xiao personally lead a squad to capture Hulei? For now, I'll do as he asked. Okay. Understand that you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery is currently closed. All the officers and officials have been reassigned to assist in the war. Yeah. Wow, look at that, it's in red. I wanna know what happens if I s but I don't want him to get injured. Hey, although we're short staffed at the moment. I don't I don't wanna know what happens if my BB gets hurt. Or dies, or any of that. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, and they're watching. Hey there. I noticed you'd been looking at me for quite a while. Yeah. I want I like I wanna know, but like I don't wanna know. I, I just can't bring myself to get Jiao Cho in any kind of trouble. Stop asking. I'm off duty now. Go bother someone else. <laughs> okay, dude. He's in for this in the Foxy pilot. Yes, why? Can't you just stop asking? You're not one of us, but I smell a familiar scent on you. The warhead sent me here to check on the situation. No, not Ooh. at all. Instead, the Sky Fairy Commission <laughs> is clearing routes to prioritize star skiffs heading to the Sky Splitter. This will make our ships more noticeable when we try to escape. Ports haven't been closed? What is going on? Uh-oh. Stalling won't help. It's time to confront Hule and see what tricks he's up to. Would you like to board my star skiff? Well, my little star skiff can't accommodate that many. But I have a larger one that will arrive in less than 15 minutes if you need it. We need to hurry wherever we're going. Close the ports? Mm. I, get, uh, I just don't want him to get him in trouble. You're back, Jiao Cho. You were closely watching me, weren't you? Yep. And if I sought help from anyone, your people would kill them. Was that your plan, Hule? I don't want to get anyone killed, so... <laughs> oh, exactly as you said. So... Have the Cloud Knights closed the ports? No. <laughs> no. Hmm. They don't want to publicize my escape. I understand. It's no surprise. For fear is more deadly than claws and fangs. Especially during a festive time like the war dance. <laughs> what lurks here is not a group of fugitives but rather a pack of wolves amidst the flock. My cubs are hungry, ready to feast on flesh and blood, reveling in your fear. <laughs> I <think> we not. <laughs> your calm facade will soon crumble. I can tear through it and expose your pathetic bones any time. There's no He will get away unscathed. Me, Cho. He will get away unscathed. Of course. You can try your luck and believe that your wits will save you. But remember, you're not the only hostage in this city. If you try anything funny, innocent people will die because of you. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Foxy in general you serve. Mock Talk says she's here for me. 
which means she'll be hunting me herself. <laughs> Before the hunt begins, I need to know my opponent. Uh-oh, that's not good. You can refuse and play tough. Or you can cooperate and save us both some time, healer. <laughs> I think that's the best, uh... Fucking hell, what? <sighs> Bro, we did what now? Good. At least you didn't try to draw attention with a scream. That way, no one will die in I, I thought that was the right choice! Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know about her. That would have been a good idea. But I expect something in return. <laughs> what makes you think you're still in a position to negotiate with me? You can torture me until I talk. Or... Let's save us both some time. Warhead. Here's the question. That's been bothering me. How have you managed to survive and endure centuries of torture? Yeah, I'd like to know too. Borison aren't supposed to live that long or possess such regenerative abilities. Yeah, so explain that. Yeah, I'd like to actually know too. So, is that why the Shenzhou Yao Ching wanted to take me away? <laughs> oh, to some, I'm a hostage, but to others, I hold the secrets they desire. Oh, I still remember, in the early years of my captivity, the Foxians came and went. They extracted my blood in marrow, trying to unravel the mystery of Moon Rage. Hmm. They wanted to conquer their fear of the Burison and free themselves from their bloodline. Unfortunately, they failed to uncover the secret. So, they resorted to the most brutal punishments they could imagine. Hmm. Some seek power to destroy their enemies, while others seek power to become their enemies. Which one are you, Jiao Cho? Destroy? Ah, I see. You're the most pitiful of them all, healer of the Yao Qing. Uh. You seek power to share it with others and do Good. Yeah, because he's a good boy. <laughs> well, then let me tell you the answer you seek. In our ancient legends, Duran, the ancestor of the Borison, was dissatisfied with his limited lifespan and power. He yearned to dominate the skies and become the master of all the stars. Okay, and? To achieve his goal, he sacrificed the lives of countless Borison and Foxians, Ooh. pouring them into the spring bestowed by the Master of Immortality. Through a form of genetic sorcery, the water gave birth to a miracle. The Lunar Embryo. <laughs> Duran ascended the birthing bed and obtained what he desired. A heart in the shape of a deep red full moon. He cut open his chest and replaced his original heart with this crimson moon. Okay, what the hell? Laugh all you want, but only I know the truth behind every word. Mm. This moon heart beats within the body of every generation of the Borison Warhead. So let's just rip our chart then. In the ritual that decides the new warhead, the successor cuts open the previous yeah, chest. Yeah, Joe, why don't you rip out his heart? <laughs> It'll be fun. We'll have a good heart, time. Thus possessing it as their own. Or face out. Someone do it. 
devouring is the true essence of life, allowing us to endure and thrive. It gathers the life essence of all the prey we consume, making us stronger and stronger. I thought all hope was lost after seven centuries of torment. But now, this heart is beating once again. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. Now it's your turn to tell me everything <laughs> about the Merlin's Claw. Jiao Cho, <gasps> I found you. Your boyfriend came for you! Be careful. <laughs> Back to me. <laughs> Two do hours for the war dance convenes. Yay! I know I'm in no position to question your orders, but if I understand correctly, you already have intelligence about the Borison? That's right. My people are busy collecting clues now. <sighs> What's the situation, Wabsa? Well, oh, hey! <laughs> General, oh. before we completely lost contact with Zhao Cho, I picked up a signal Let's from his go. Jade Abacus. Won't take long before we locate and you already did because we already saw it, but you know. If that's the case, shouldn't we immediately go there and join forces to eliminate the Borison? Why are we returning to Stargazer Navalia? Looks like your general has only taught you swordplay, not the art of the hunt. <laughs> There's an old saying among the Borison. In the forest, the hunter may easily become the hunted. While we may call ourselves the hunters now, Chasing them blindly will only make us become the prey. Mm. Are you joking, General? He's just a wolf who's been in prison for seven centuries. Even with his accomplices, they're no match for us numerous Lawfu Cloud Knights. How could he consider us his prey? Do not underestimate the enemy. Hule is not an ordinary Borison that can be easily killed. The advantage in numbers means nothing when we face that monster. A vicious beast who hasn't tasted blood and flesh in seven centuries is now lurking on the streets of the Lafu right before the war day. It is not good. This is what makes the situation treacherous and unpredictable. <sighs> to him, the lives of ordinary people are just meat ready to be devoured at any moment. Exactly. That is why we must succeed in our first strike, or the situation will spiral out of control. Indeed. You've heard of this military tactic, right? When you surround your enemy, leave one side open for them to escape. A skilled hunter must be well prepared, waiting for the prey at the most advantageous position. Where does war... where? What would we do if we were the escapees from the Shackling Prison? While we can disguise ourselves and blend in with the crowd, we don't plan on staying uh, in for long. ship to escape, I guess? Or in this for, case, what do we need most now? I guess. Ooh. A star skiff yeah. to get us out of the Lafu. Yeah, the Borison we discovered at Stargazer Navalia were actually preparing a vessel for their escape. We predict their next move, and we take them down. Yay! Let's start from where you found those Borison and corner our prey. Okay. This is where we ran into the Borison last time. It looks the same as usual. Because I blocked all the relevant news to make it seem as if nothing had happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Will the Borison notice something? Losing contact with their accomplices preparing the star skiff will surely put them on guard. However... The more well-prepared a plan is, the longer it takes to adjust when it's disrupted. If any Borson wants to stick to the original plan despite the risks, they'll surely come back to Stargazer Navalia to check the situation. Mm. Are you suggesting that there are Borison here at Stargazer Navalia right now? Maybe. One right behind us. This <laughs> is an automated not, area. I don't think so. So don't you think that there are a bit too many people here today? First. Look at those two oh. Skyfaring Commission staff. They were members. behind us. <laughs> Just the other They've direction. been observing us in secret since we arrived here. Then there's a Cloud Knight mm. soldier over there. Perhaps he's here for patrol. Dang, I but was right. Each patrol team must consist of two members. 
And obviously, he is not following the rules. Lastly, hmm. there's that craftsman wearing artisanship commission clothing. He's unusually focused on checking that device. If you have a target in mind, let's go investigate. Okay. Who are you? Don't you know that Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? Hey, chill out. They're just a few lost tourists. Is that Aventurine's VA? <laughs> but Stargazer Navalia is the shipbuilding port of the Sienjo Lafu. If the Skyfaring Commission called for a lockdown, there should be official documents proving it, right? Official documents? <laughs> of course there are. The Cloud Knights are aware that some people have infiltrated this port. Mm. <sighs> that makes perfect sense. So you're now investigating the Borison? Yeah, we've received orders from the higher ups, so we've blocked off this area to prevent any interference. That sounds with like Camden. It. it really does. Thank you for your understanding. Hey, you there! Please refrain from wandering around Stargazer Navalia if you're not. Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Yenching. Is it on lockdown? No, not at all. Actually. I'm here to address a peculiar issue. A peculiar issue? Many. Yeah, we've had some unscheduled star skiffs being constructed at this dock in Stargazer Navalia. Could there have been an error in the production planning for the assembly line? This is just weird. I thought all the pending star skiffs from before the war dance had been scheduled already. I'm sorry, but I need to focus on my work right now. If you have any questions, we can discuss them later. Okay, bye, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, Lieutenant Yen Xing and uh, General Fischel? You're aware of the Boris in prison break, right? Yeah, I've received the news, and I'll be on the alert. Why is there not two of you? Looks like you've been keeping an eye on the Sky Splitter. Have you noticed anything unusual? No, everything is normal on the ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, you've been observing the sky splitter for a while. Have you noticed anything? Honestly, just watching the ship from here isn't too thrilling. I wish I could go on board and witness Lieutenant Yen Xing's contests. Speaking of which, Lieutenant Yen Xing, aren't you supposed to be on the sky splitter? Is it all right for you to be here instead? Thank you for your concern. But I have more pressing matters to attend to. Oh. This is not a location for a cloud knight on guard also, duty. Also, the tra uh, trailblazer it? gets lines, which is interesting. Well, this spot offers a great view. Are you here to keep an eye on the sky splitter? Yes. And questioning. So, it seems that some Borison have returned to Stargazer Navalia in disguise. The answer seems quite obvious. I would guess that because I'm my really suspicion know. as well. Remember when I mentioned that the Cloud Knights blocked all relevant news to make it seem as if nothing happened? Stargazer Navalia is not under lockdown. But on the contrary, those staff members use Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown oh. <laughs> as an excuse to persuade than us usual. to leave. This contradicts the Cloud Knight's plans. Their flimsy disguise has been exposed. Even if they try to hide, there's no way they can escape us. No escape. Why are you still here? As I said, Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown. Oh, now. but it's not, dumbass. No. I never issued such an order. Who are you? Who do you think? Perhaps you haven't met me on the battlefield, but I am certain you've heard my name. Now, I'm asking you a question, so answer me. Tell me. How many more of your comrades are here? Where were you planning to meet Hulei? Hehe, <laughs> got him. This woman, she's the general of the Yao Xing. What are you still waiting for? Attack her! Oh, okay. A little more shit. Lord, tell Lord Mok talk about this. Uh oh. Mm. Why don't you kill me? 
Yeah, why not? Because I need answers. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> you were our war slave. So you should know us descendants of Duran. You want me to talk? <laughs> Fine. Try whatever you want. But I assure you, you won't get anything from me. Okay, Only then just kill him. Thanks and blood. If I were to do that, I wouldn't be any different from you. Okay, I would have killed him. I am the arrow that pierces the wolf's heart. I grant you a swift death. <laughs> That's exactly what I desire. Wolves that leave the pack are prepared for the fate of never returning home. Brett Bozo, I guess. But sadly, you didn't catch my partner. He will alert them. Before you close your eyes, you should know that I allowed him to escape. Because he will lead the Cloud Knights to Hule's hideout. Okay, she's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dead. That was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is this how you leave one side open? You let that Borison escape so you could track him? <laughs> this is the most common hunting tactic used by Borison. I know the methods of these abominations all too well. They always leave an escape route for their prey, allowing them to flee in fear. Then they chase them like it's a game. Borison get great satisfaction from the last struggles of their victims. Mm. Have you witnessed these things? I'm firsthand? pretty sure she probably has. That guy called you a war slave. Yeah. What exactly have you experienced? Mm. Well, just a hazy past that I can barely recollect. Long ago, I was one of them. Wait, but you're a Foxian, right? Not all Foxians are lucky enough to be born on a Sienjo ship. I grew up in one of the worlds where Boris and Rome, known as the Fallen Territories by the people of the Yaoqing. Mm. To the Wolf Masters, Foxians are nothing but property. Cannon fodder used to slow down Why the Why don't Sienjo you have a tail, on the though? battlefield. But you survived. And not only that, you became the general of the Yao Cheng. If I get the chance, I'd love to hear stories of your past, General. Speaking of stories, you've reminded me that now is not the time for them. <laughs> yeah, we got a little... Wadza, we've sent the warning from Stargazer Navalia. What's the situation on your end? How's Zhao Cho? Is he okay? I found them. Zhao Cho is trying to stall Hulei. And he signaled me to not reveal Damn it. myself. Ooh. Trust his judgment and keep watching. We'll be right there. I believe the warning we sent will stop Hule from attacking Stargazer Navalia. <sighs> what will he do next? The hunt is not over yet. Stay safe, Jojo. Jo. He'll gonna be fine. Nothing bad gonna happen to him. Surely. One duel, or one hour before the duel, whatever. One, whatever, words. Please, save me. What's going on? <laughs> I want to live. Oh no, is this Doctor. more about Jocho? Jocho, find the yep. medical ingenium and give that kid a shot. Hurry! I... I see. How is the front line? That's Faisal. The Boris and Beast ships have already landed on the Fenghu. It won't be long before this place is overrun as well. What about General Yueyu? That's his doctor Any news from no. her? I guess. I'm her healer. I should stay by her side at a time like this. She asked me to tell you that she's not coming back. She must protect the Cloud Pier telescope. Thanks. 
General asks you to to save that kid. The girl fought desperately just to bring I us still were talking about face shock was her right there, yeah. I've never seen such a brutal fighting style. Her body it's like she was split open. Just like oh, her blood pressure is uh -oh. dropping. Do you hear me, Xiao Xiao? Loud and clear. Get me some tumble dust. We've got to start the operation right now. I... I will bring her back. Okay. Is that why you're so determined to learn my oh, secrets? Shit. <laughs> Do you hear me, Zhao Cho? Don't touch him anymore. I do. Leave him alone. Loud and clear. So she saved you all in that great battle on the Xiangzhou Fenghu three decades three de ago. How long have you been alive, Zhao Zhao? No surprise. You discovered her boar's and bloodline while she was at death's door. Mok Tok told me that she was a war slave who escaped from the Eclipse pack. So she is? I'm confused. Oh, what a twist of fate. Turns out... Wait, so she is she's a She's from the same clan as I am. Her? Now I understand. No wonder she displayed such astounding power, <coughs> determination, and cruelty in battle. Turns out it's all because of her boars and blood. So is she a mix? Mutt. Despicable mutt. Or something. I don't know. That's. <laughs> And she used the gift of her bloodline to destroy the Borison. Huh. <laughs> okay. Is that why she doesn't have a tail? Moon rage. A blessing for wolves. And a curse for foxes. For Borison, to have their bodies torn apart by moon rage and transform into a beast mm. is the ultimate joy. But for you Foxians with poor regenerative abilities, Yikes. it means certain death. Yet she's still alive. Oh, with the burning fury in her heart, that Foxian general will eventually lose her sanity and endure nah, nah, that's an not gonna endless happen. Nah. bloodshed. The scars on her body will not be caused by enemy weapons. But by the immense power she can't withstand, one day she will be torn apart and die nah. as a monster. Nah. And in return for saving her life, you intend to give everything to solve this impossible puzzle. Hule, do you know the saddest thing? About being a healer. Oh, his PA is doing so well. This hurts. All this time, I've devoted my life to bringing back those who sacrificed their lives to monsters like you. I exhausted myself, and my hands trembled. But I believed everything I did was meaningful. Oh, honey. But once again, they rushed into battle. And then I heard of their deaths. They died under your claws. In your jaws. Mm. Amidst the flames of crashing star skiffs. And under the Lux Arrow of Rainbow, like a useless idiot, I saved a fish named Life out of the cauldron called Death, only to watch it struggle dive back into the boiling broth. Ooh, this is heavy. So I asked myself, why were they so eager to run toward their death? after they had recovered from their wounds. Why wouldn't they value their hard-won life? 
All the doubts left me feeling lost. Oh, honey. Put me. <laughs> I can, can we kill smell Hulai, your please? desperation. All the way down to your Can bone we kill him, arrow. please? Please. Eventually, I realized that their deaths held value. They placed the weight of their sacrifice on the living. Granting us strength. With a coin forged by their deaths, they exchanged something more in return. Everything I'm doing now, following you so closely, is just for one reason. Witnessing your death with my own two eyes. Let's go. D oh, I love Jeff. Even your death has value. It will pave the way for a peaceful war dance and a fully cured fish. Oh, his voice actor is so fucking good. Hmm. <laughs> the thoughts in your pathetic head are hardly surprising. Did you already know this? Yes, I did. As Borison, we understand the value of death more than anyone. And as a healer who has witnessed so much death, you won't be swayed mm. by fear. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. What a shame, what a shame. Your story actually sparked Can a we just of kill respect Hulay? for you in Fuck my off. heart. Can you even feel respect with your corrupted heart? Yeah, Joe, be careful. <laughs> of course. Because I caught a whiff of my own kind in you. Huh? Unfortunately, in the end, you're still just a weak fox. As the wolf's creed goes, gift the wolf a dead end where new paths arise. Oh. Raise him we to a doomed fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise yet the valorous and brutal battles embrace their eternal prize that's why i'm keeping you alive for now oh, i want to show you how boris and truly respect their enemies oh, honey this is not fun for we you. will consume your flesh and blood no we're not doing that our own we will crush your hopes and dreams, clearing a path for a hunt. Your feeble souls will witness a new future. A future Can we that kill him, please? To he me. better die. Who like better fucking die? My lord, we received a message. Our arrangement at Stargazer Navalia has been discovered. We must act quickly. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Hmm. Mock talk. What's that the noise? The fuck is that? It's the Sky Splitter. The ship oh. that the war dance will be held on is about to set off. The Sky Faring Commission will clear the air routes. And if our star skiffs try to escape, we'll be spotted. Well, what do you want to know? Calm down, Mock talk. Look at you now, hiding and fearful. <laughs> Where is your Boris and dignity? Nowhere. <laughs> He's a weak little As I pup. said, I'd sacrifice my dignity for your return. Sure, buddy. As long as you can come back to the Boris and Pax, there's still hope. Sure. Hope? <sighs> the Boris and have forgotten the wolf's creed. Weak creatures put their hope in the strong, but the strong fight their way yeah, out. Yeah, right. Bringing me back instead of choosing a new master only proves the decline of our pack. And as for the prophet who manipulated you into saving me, she's just a liar trying to use <laughs> Duran's offspring. <laughs> wonder who it is, though. <sighs> Mock talk. Let me tell you how the Burisen will rise to power. We won't hide like rats in the streets of the Xiangzhou. 
We will be ravenous wolves, walking amongst a herd of lambs with our fangs bared. Okay, you do that. But, Great Warhead, our packs are not here. We can't go to war like this. Our packs are not here. Wherever I go, everyone is the pack. Okay, dude, well, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, stay away. Just don't come any closer. Hey, yo. No. Oh my god. Oh. Moza! Oh my god, you were standing there the whole time. Mock talk. We're the apex predators at the top of the hierarchy. So you can do that. Okay. As wolves, we create fear. We don't become servants to it. If you're blind to the path, I will be the crimson moon that lights the way for you. <laughs> Share my crimson blood with our brethren. Use it to infect those Foxians. Hey, let's not do that to Jiao Cho, though. Please, no. Right, he has it, actually. Now, you devious monkey, come out and face Does he know me. Mo Oh, look at his face. Oh, your boyfriend's here. Hi. Chao Chao. Hi. Moza. Run. Oh. <laughs> no, he can't run. And neither can you. <laughs> You've come at the right time, monkey. Racist. <laughs> Tell your general. Tell her that I will unleash a massacre here, drowning the Xianzhou La Fu in blood. From this moment on, wolves bearing my blood will hunt on every street. Well, this is very bad. On the followers of that can, devilish archer. Can we just kill him? Moza, go Follow ahead. Me, Stab my him. Cops. We shall stride among the prey. If the wolf dead end, when new paths arise, raise him to a doom fate where satiation lies. Yeah, uh, Moza, grab him and just run. Moza, grab him and run. Yet the valorous in brutal battles embrace their eternal prize. Moza, grab your boyfriend, husband, and run. Do you hear that? The rumble of the cannons. Oh, it brings back all the memories of past battles within me. My return will bring back the wolf's creed. In my own way, I shall save our weakened pack and restore uh, this it to is its very former bad. glory. Hey, <laughs> how are y'all doing? Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, the Sky Splitter's gun salute is really loud. So, this is what the war dance is actually like? I feel like my eardrums are going to burst. <laughs> well, how could they expect to attract people to come and watch if they didn't make a huge spectacle? <laughs> March. You haven't forgotten what you came to do, have you? As a representative of the Sienjo La Fu, I will defeat all Good luck, challengers. Much. Good luck with that. That's the spirit. Sounds like you're all fired up. If you could just keep your legs from shaking so much, <laughs> it would be more convincing, March. Uh. As the saying goes, the disciple takes the toil of their master. Remember. You are here under the identity of a lawful swordmaster, taking the place of your no good master <laughs> Yenqing as the ringmaster. But what am I supposed to do if my opponent for this round is super talented? You'll be fine, surely. In seconds, I'm still a beginner in swordplay. I don't know where I got the confidence when I agreed to help General Huayan. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to worry about that. If you are defeated, then your opponent shall have to answer to me. 
Although, if that happens, the honor and the glory of the Sienjo Lafu shall all be taken by the Jooming. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> uh, Master Yun Li, please, I'm about to compete. <laughs> Can you say something that will give me a little confidence? March, think about the great storms that you, nameless of the Express, have weathered along your many journeys. There's no doubt that you have faced far more terrifying enemies than your opponents here today, right? Don't you feel a lot more relaxed looking at it that way? Fair enough. Let's get going. I've trained hard in the art of swordplay over these few days. It's time for me to get in the ring and prove myself. Let's go! Let's go! Mario! Master Yun Li, I don't think I'm completely ready. March, there is no such thing as completely ready. I was informed of your arrival by Madame Yukong and came to greet you personally. Thanks, whoever you are. The news that you will be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants' hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, Who is my <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> if they ask you this, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? I am a disciple of Lieutenant Yan Ching. That means there. that I'm also technically a grand disciple of General Jing Yuan. When you put it like that... I'm actually a pretty sure, big Mark, deal. Sure, Mark. Whatever you say. <laughs> uh, you completely left <laughs> my name out. How rude! <laughs> <laughs> I see you are both quite relaxed. Impressive, given the imminent danger you face. Huh? <laughs> Miss Yun Li's <laughs> contestant information was registered for the war dance a long time ago. However, as a last-minute entry. The Skyfaring Commission has taken care of the necessary. Well, that's great. For you, Miss. Thanks, lady. March seventh. Please follow this path. The contestant hall is just up ahead. Thank you, Miss Shikwei. Come, let's take a look around the contestant hall. So, <laughs> this is the contestant There's hall. A lot of people in here. Oh, there are so many. <laughs> that's people. what I just said, March. March, before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. My grandfather always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. Hmm. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe? I don't know. From that? You, you're really strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old metal is taller than a person. Being able to wield a weapon like that must mean that you have ridiculous Yeah, with strength, those noodle right? arms that she's got. Observing the weapon that your opponent uses, assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at, and where their weaknesses lie, is the key to victory in battle. A shockingly heavy sword like mine, for example, is obviously not suited for a long, drawn-out battle. So, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? <laughs> Oops. That's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to <laughs> someone else, after all. Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants' hall to practice. If you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. Whatever you say, girl. Know myself and know the enemy. Let's see. Who should I ask first? Ugh. I am not used to wearing clothes like this at all. Oh, you're March 7th. Are you like a reporter or something? for Lieutenant Yun Ching, correct? That's right. And you are? As you can see, I am the journalist entrusted with interviewing contestants on site. Well, let's conduct an interview. I see the Skyfaring Commission has really gone all out as the host. Interesting. That's right. A big event like this just can't go ahead without a few of us running around. <laughs> 
since the competition is getting started, could I ask you some questions that are on my mind? Go ahead, I guess. <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, great. First, <laughs> the question that is on everyone's minds. Lieutenant Yenching is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yenching is seriously injured. No, that's not true is at this all. Is this true? It's not. Then what is the real reason? No comment. <laughs> seriously? Um, all right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Once the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March 7th. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? There are. May I ask who that might be? Don't so out. March 7th is ignoring everyone around her and is declaring her will to challenge the Merlin's Claw of the Xianzhou Yao Qing. Indeed. Why not? Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, was there something you wanted to ask me? Sussy. Ah, yes. Yeah, this is just a regular Cloud Knight Devastator Glaive. Oh, I understand what's going on, Miss March 7th and Miss Yun Li. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not a contestant. I'm just here as a security guard. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I can't bear to watch other people make things awkward. So I always try to keep the conversation going. <laughs> but then I'm the one who ends up making things awkward. <laughs> I've gotten used to it by now. So don't worry. There are still many guests arriving here. Please be cautious. Yeah. Understood. <sighs> I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Who would have imagined that he would take a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? This is no more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Ching. This last-minute replacement, March 7th. Who exactly is she? Mm-hmm. If I'd known I could use multiple weapons at once, I'd have brought my bow. Hello, miss. Are you here to take part in the Ringmaster's challenge, too? That's right. I'm the March 7th that everyone's <coughs> been talking about. What? Your March 7th? she is. Don't worry. I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned Cloud Knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic too, <laughs> right? The first round of the war dance is about to begin. I'm scared. <laughs> Are you feeling okay, March? We'll be fine, though, surely. Me? I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. Looking at these contestants, I suddenly feel a lot calmer for some reason. I understand why you wanted me to know myself and know my enemy. I don't feel as nervous as I did before. Mm. So, do you want to go out and see the ring? Let's do it. Let's go see the ring. I don't care about the opponents. Let's go. Like wow, so this is what it's like from the spectator seats? Big gun. Look over there. That's the ring we'll be standing on. Master Yun Li? Tournament arc! Tournament arc! Tournament arc! I'm getting nervous again. Can I really do this? Yeah, you can. You got this. Well, it's too late for nerves now. It's almost time. Almost time for what? As soon as I think about the mission General Huayan gave me, oh, my heart starts you racing You got like this. Crazy. You'll be fine. What do I do, Master Yunli? 
It's when it stops speeding that we need to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Just what are those birds take doing? in the atmosphere and prepare yourself. I have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship. Are they like cameras? This was also part of Grandpa's orders. I wonder how Master Yan Ching is doing over there. Hey, focus. Back to my POV. My uh, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, oh. General, report. The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskiff lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Good idea. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. You two, follow me. Okay. Let's go to wherever we're going. I don't know. What's a signal's nearby, but we lost contact just oh, a moment ago. Shit. Did that mean he will be fine? Cloud Knights, search for the target. Moza, where's Jiao Cho? What? Moza, where's Jiao Cho? <laughs> I love you. Get out of my way. Wait. Don't go any closer. Why? What'd you sniff? General, I failed you. That mad dog left me here as... What is... Where's Jato? I was when we took a declaration of war. Oh. That's right. I've been holding back the urge to slit his throat all this time. Let's kill all well, these dudes here. Lord Hule ordered us to remain here just to see. Let's kill them all. If you, the great Merlin's Claw, mortal enemy of the Forison, are yep. able to join yep. him in a little hunting game let's kill all these motherfuckers hunting is not a game it is a battle of life and death are you ready for your death abomination <laughs> die you lonely beast die save your breath Nah, we win these. Wowza, are you okay? And where's Jacho? I wasn't able to save Jacho. Hule was more it's fine. And it's powerful fine. than I imagined. It's fine. Tell me, how is he planning to declare this war against me? The one-on-one -on -one duel? Or with a hostage exchange, maybe? Hule is planning on attacking the bustling streets of the Xianzhou Law Fu. Yeah, so we need to... Yeah. What did you just say? Yeah. Impossible. Even if there is still undercover Borison that we haven't sniffed out, Hule can't have more than a few dozen people. Yeah, you see, the but thing How is he planning on is... simultaneously attacking the streets of the Xianzhou Law Fu? He has an ace up his sleeve. Hule's body holds a plague mark passed down through generations of Borison. I've seen him convert a foxy into a Borison wolf trooper with my own eyes. Yep. This is Hule's declaration of war. His blood. It can cause Foxians to rapidly transform and lose their minds. He has passed his blood to his minions and is planning to spread it across the law food. Yeah, that's a bad. Contact the Skyfaring Commission and the Cloud Knights right away. Have them enforce a traffic ban. And order all Foxians to remain indoors until further Good notice. idea, but that's- they're still gonna- The moment you see your enemy's declaration of war, it means that they have already begun to take Yeah, action. we gotta be careful. This is bad. But if Hule succeeds in getting this panic to spread- Do you remember what I told you before? Hunting is about thinking the same way as your prey, not just mindlessly chasing after them. Mm. What Hule wants is to see everyone on the Lawfu descend into panic. 
He wants to see us lose our minds and waste our limited manpower scouring every inch of the Lawfu for signs of an attack until we exhaust ourselves. It's like that party game that the people of the Yaoqing love to play. They hide an object under one of several bowls, then move the bowls around and have to guess which okay. one the object is underneath. Okay. <laughs> the way I see Weird analogy, but sure, I all guess. Nothing more than misdirection. <sighs> no matter what Hule does, there is one truth that cannot be changed. He is trapped aboard the Sienjo Lawfu. The only way for him to escape is to find a ship. So yeah, right now, sky splitter. The only ship he'd be able to see is the sky splitter. Yep. <laughs> In his eyes, that ship is full of countless hostages. That would be the best place for him to go. Well, let's go there now. So, Not waste any time. I will time. also be on Save final battlefield. But if we're wrong about this, if he goes somewhere else, or if he does as he said he would, and his minions infect the Foxians everywhere with wolf blood. What do we do then? Are we just supposed to abandon those less likely locations? Yeah, well, this is another lesson that you must learn outside of swordplay. Weighing your options and making a decision. Yeah. There are always questions that we will ask ourselves. You gotta, you, gotta you just, to you know, sometimes people gotta die. <laughs> Before <laughs> making a decision, but yeah, we must destroy die. any hesitation that we are holding on to. Once we make a decision, we must fight off any regrets. There is a chance that we will make the wrong decision and allow our allies to be sacrificed in vain. There is a chance that we will predict our enemies' movements correctly, yet underestimate their strength and be overwhelmed in battle. But being lost in hesitation and failing to take any action will always be more harmful than taking the wrong path. We must make a decision. She's got a point. No matter what. Everyone, listen up. I will personally take charge of Starskiff Haven, evacuate the people, and prepare for any possible attacks. Mm -hmm. I will do my best to ensure that things. I are think safe we need you for Hule, though. <laughs> Nameless, please lend us your strength as you did when the Ambrosial Arbor was reborn. I need you and Wildza to go in search of Jao. Wildza, it's Moza. <laughs> Leave it to me. General. Please entrust me with the safety of the Sky Splitter. I was originally meant to participate in the tournament. Bro, so yeah, now you get your ass right kicked by the Hule. Sky Splitter. If one time you, if a lot of Hule girls and other people can beat your ass, he would kill you. Lieutenant Yan Ching, I need you to hold him there until I am able to arrive. Please rest assured, General. If he dares step foot on the Sky Splitter, I, Yan Ching, Bro, swear would... on the blade in my hand that he you're shall gonna not You're going to get your ass escape. kicked. You're going to die. Like, you've not won a single fight in this game with anyone you fought. Cloud Knights, the Borsin have arrogantly decided to challenge us on Sienjo territory. They vow that they will unleash a bloodbath along the streets of the We Sienjo. need to go find Chao Cho now. I'm scared. The unarmed civilians of the Sienjo and countless visitors from afar are under our protection. Let me ask you. As Cloud Knights, will we allow the Borsin to succeed with their no, plan? No, we won't. Never! Be on your guard. Can we go save Jadro now? Calling Starskip Haven. Have all Cloud Knights be on full alert for Borsin attacks. Hey, Shum. The ports of Starskip Haven are crawling with wolf-like creatures. Well, fuck. They're moving fast. <laughs> Hold them back! I will be there immediately! Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, now, whoa! Oh, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Damn, that's so hot of her. <laughs> oh, shit! Really? Do we get to use her? There you are, Faisha. Madam Yukong, after 30 years, we find ourselves fighting side by side <laughs> once more. It's been a while since I've let loose. Let's get this started. Oh, shit. Remember, you are still on the Law Fu. Try not to go too wild. <laughs> we have cleared out the enemies in Starskiff Haven. 
So are we shipping these two? Because I think that we should. there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a star skiff. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Zhao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Hmm. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately. Madam Yukon, oh. lend me your bow. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! What's that? Everyone, out of the way! Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> good one, girl. Holy shit! Hey, yo, you are you good? You okay? Same time, our patients. Uh, nice. Good job. <laughs> What a mess. I just knew it would end up this way. <laughs> you clean free me, freak. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess <laughs> like this. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get into. No. <laughs> One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao yeah, Cho's whereabouts. Oops. Zhao Cho's still alive? He has to be. Yeah, because he's your boyfriend, your husband. A retainer like myself is nothing more than an insignificant shadow who stands by the general's side. But Zhao Cho is different. Without his careful treatment, the general wouldn't even be here today. Oh. Hopefully, he can use that silver tongue of his to I buy hope so himself too. enough time. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, hello. Is that mock talk? What a yep. terrifying attack. I'll make you talk. Who could have imagined that such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a Foxian war slave? So decisive, so brutal. She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who have fallen to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. Hello, we're here to beat your ass. I remember you, Mock Talk. You are harder to kill than a cockroach. <laughs> but the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some Where time. Where is his boyfriend? Moses' boyfriend, It is Jacho. not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? Yeah, where are they? He not going tell us. <laughs> Save your energy, the Ouching monkey. Racist. <laughs> There is one principle that we beasts know well. It is that we might have to break off an arm mm. to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent, brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. <sighs> like the moon of Erdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the wolf's creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on 
one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats living a dirty and pathetic life. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Don't be real. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack. And He's they gonna kill should himself. die for it as well. In Minecraft. Come, the Ching man. Oh, okay. Gonna, he's gonna kick your, your, your ass, then. Fangs. We will fight to the death. Yeah, we'll kick your ass easily. Let's go. How honorable, you mangy dog. Get but him. you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. Kill him. No, we kicked your ass really easily, actually. No matter how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths, Borison. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. Oh, shit. Hule, your declaration of war is over. Where's Chow Chow? From now on, no matter where you run, General Fei Shao will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general speak with me. A little hunting game. It's not over yet. Stay oh, down, shit. Reza. I am here. Who oh, is. shit. What do you wish to say? The Merlin's Claw. <laughs> Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you mm. from both my men. And your hero. <laughs> Is Jacho okay? Mm. You fucker. The people of the Simjo must be quite brave to allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough? To convince everyone to keep their lips sealed. Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. <laughs> Hule, are you begging me for mercy? <laughs> no, but it'd be funny. I see that it is not only the ruthless blood of a wolf that courses through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a frog. Well, no shit, look at her. When you think about it, this was a gift from the Borson. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim. Aww. The Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the sky. Where's Jiao Cho, you whore? Before you arrive, I will slaughter all. In sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over seven hundred years to once more. No, come we're to not life. gonna do that. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiang Chu is. That's how I wish, Chu. Then I will pilot this ship through every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin my journey home this ship shall be 
the flagship for the Borison Resurgence! Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me, or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared well, for you. Well, we're gonna kill you. That's the other choice. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path. Hee <laughs> hee, I work. hope we kill him. Please. Oh, Yunli? I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with the security of the Sky Splitter. That's easy for my grandfather mm -hmm. to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. The first round of the tournament is about to begin. I wonder how Yen Ching and the others are doing. Don't worry about it, Machi. According to the plan, it. I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Maybe I should take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. March is in the contestants' lounge right now. Oh, I wonder how her preparations are coming along. <laughs> <laughs> 